Hi, David Orr here, Flat Stick Academy. Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite training aids. That is Laser Optics 2 from RightPuttingDynamics.com. One of the things that I love about Laser Optics 2 is it replaces that nasty chalk line. If you've ever had a chalk line burst in your golf bag, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It also replaces the string line which is really only effective for players that have their eyes directly over the ball and we already know that the vast majority of golfers don't always putt with their eyes over the ball. Many are inside the ball, etc. So laying a green laser line on the ground is great for helping you for feedback on learning to start the ball down the line. Now another feature I love is the remote control that can be turn on, turn off, turn on, helps can save, conserve battery power and another thing it comes with is a tripod that can raise the laser in the air in case you don't want to have the line on the ball or you want to do some longer putts. So just quick demonstration uh, you know you could do the zero brake line find the zero brake line up the hill down the hill you could do it with that drill uh, you could also do it with the mushroom drill and in this case I'm going to do a braking putt I'm going to do my aim point okay so I've got maybe a zero here and maybe like a half going that way. So I can do my aim point. Got my aim line lined up with my aim point. For you linear players out there that like to think in terms of lines, this is your ideal training aid. All right, so what I'm going to do here, walk in, do my routine. Now your targeting routine is very important here. You need to know if you're good from ball to hole or retracing back from hole to ball. And that is what I, that's my preference. And, and it's just a preference. There's not one that's right or one that's wrong. So, all right, so I'm going to look down the line, trace backwards. Let's hit one down the line with enough speed. Very good. That one went in right half. And what would be interesting is when I watch a ball go down this laser line, I look to see if the laser is still splitting the ball before it takes the break. In other words, if the laser is on the right half of the ball, or more than more than half the balls on the left side of the laser, I know that the face is closed. I also know that if the laser is on the left side of the ball, and more than half the ball is on the right side of the ball, that I've actually pushed it or the face is slightly open. So it really starts to shrink the cone and help develop some club face control, which we know that's what controls where the ball starts. All right, so again, do your routine. Okay. Remember whether you're ball to hole or from hole back to ball. Trace it in your mind and hit it down the line, right half the hole, okay, and the laser was just barely on the left side. So this is actually my normal tendency because my mechanics are set up maybe just slightly right center uh, or right half. I know that when I pull it, I've compensated a roundhouse, and I hate that feeling more than anything in the world is a dreaded roundhouse pull. All right, so again, we do my routine. Oops, start over. Do my routine, come in, get a feel. Now switch right over immediately to target. And one of the things, this is a great external cue. It's one of the things, now that one I pulled, that would be a perfect example of a roundhouse pull. All right, so great feedback. Even though I made two and missed one, I'm not going to let it bother me, but I can feel that roundhouse pull coming from the right shoulder, and that usually comes from trying to guide the ball down the line. Now, this training aid is so good, you don't have to be an expert player to use this training aid. Matter of fact, in a clip that's coming up in a minute, you're going to see my wife with her flip-flops on, her summer shorts. She's played golf maybe five times in her life, and... She's going to do better than me. Go ahead. So how long have you played golf? Five times your whole life. <laughs> so you would have think that being married to a putting instructor, you might have picked up a thing or two? Pretty good with no instruction. 